right YouTube so I went and got some welding done on the bed uh, yesterday got that done and then I got the other side base you know connected the same way um, got the back corners fixed back here and he said he wasn't able to make it you know the best because it was so dirty and stuff got that fixed this whole chunk was missing got it put back in this welded down around the bottom and uh, I wasn't unimpressed with his work I mean it's it, I'm sure it's gonna hold and uh, we connected that to the deck the whole deck used to kind of bounce a little bit it wasn't connected up here at all um, and the tie downs and the deck were kind of separate and so you get a little bit of give and stuff so now that's all fixed and this trucks a little bit weird as you can see it's got bolts through the aluminum bed into steel rails and when I bought this truck I had never ran a tow truck I didn't know nothing about tow trucks and so I guess maybe 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 I got had on this deal I'm not sure it does work but as you can see these rails are already bowed out in the center look down there and he had just done this when uh, when I bought this truck and uh, it was all just loose it was, it was super floppy the uh, back was unsupported you can watch a different video where I added I added that whole piece out there from the square on to support the back of the bed but now my issue is getting the marker lights to work and I checked and with my uh, test light over here I've got the marker lights on on the truck as you can see but I used the test light and I opened this up and I seen that there was no power so it's not a burnout bulb so then I had to trace it back well traced it back to looks like there's the wires and they're hooked to nothing so then I got the bed all rolled back and, and up and I found this other wire which is actually an extension cord from a house eh, I ain't gonna hate I repurpose things too so I checked this with my test light over here and with the marker lights on it had power so I shut the marker lights off checked it again it didn't have power so obviously this one comes on and off with my marker lights and that's the black one so I don't know where it goes to at the back of the truck I've already redone a bunch of the lights and stuff back there but it's got power for now so it would get me marker lights if when I hook it up to there these all come on or whatever I, I might have still some burnout bulbs or I don't know but we're gonna check it out all right YouTube so we just gave them a little twist they kind of spark when I uh, connected them so either one of two things either there's a short or they're working either it sent current through or it shorted them out so oh those are still on so must not have shorted them out yep that one's on that one's on so we're 50% there let's see what this junk looks like on the other side there's one there's another so we now have marker lights which is actually pretty awesome and that wasn't even a hard fix it's always nice when you're able to fix something pretty quick and easy you know so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go in the garage and find me a little uh, splice dealie McBob and some uh, zip ties so that I can zip tie these wires all up and uh, not have to worry about them catching or getting torn out or whatnot as the bed goes back and forth so alrighty alright YouTube so light bulb went off as I was uh, talking about that and doing that hydraulics uh, cylinder and wire bed moving not enough slack obviously that's why it was probably broken before and they didn't redo it that way 
So I got to look enough ways to uh, do it the correct way and this is definitely not it. So I'm going to cut this down from here and I'm going to run the wires inside of that channel which is where the hydraulics hoses and stuff used to be on the stock truck. But my truck has an electric winch now not hydraulics so I've just got a big ass channel there. It's not being used, so I might as well use it for my uh, light wires. But upon coming to the other end of this, you can see that extension cord. There's the tape. Then it goes into a trailer plug looking wire down here through the loom to this box. And I don't know what this box is, unfortunately. I wish I did because I'd know if I could remove it or not and still have my lights at the back of the truck. But I'm not going to mess with it today. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, untape this and get to looking at it and seeing how many wires they've even got connected in it or whatnot. And uh, hopefully, though, I can tap in here. Well, I don't even think I'm going to probably tap in here. I'm probably just going to tape these all up and not mess with these once I cut the extension cord part off. And then I'm going to go to the back of the truck, back there where my lighting is and where I have, have redone all the lighting and I know everything is good. So I might as well connect in back there and go up the uh, channel. You can see the back of the channel right there it goes all the way up the length of the bed here to the front pretty much well not the whole length of the bed and that's not connected to the bed that's just under the bed which catches wires or whatever that are on the bed as it slides back so anyways I'm gonna get to this I'm gonna disconnect all all this uh, hacked in garbage all right, YouTube went ahead and threw some uh, shrink wrap and over some electric tape on that. Left it big, I know, but who cares? Uh, and then we started getting the pulling that wire. I'm not cutting the zip ties because I don't want these uh, hydraulic lines coming apart. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull that uh, extension cord out of there and get it out of there out of the way no point in leaving it no more extension cord at least it just get, it gets it out of the truck it, get, it leaves you know it, it doesn't leave it there for future confusion if i sell it or if i'm forget for some reason i'm like oh yeah what was this you know or if i have somebody else work on it or whatever you know just gets it out of the way what does this orange wire go to there's no chasing it down there's my little uh scooching around keeping my butt dry trying it's not working out all that great <laughs> so next i've got to run a wire up it and i found this one over here in my little junk pile i do got other extension cords too um I was thinking about using this it's a I think it's out of a, a vacuum cleaner it seems to be decently sturdy flexible or whatnot I'm not sure though I'm gonna dig in here a little bit and see if I find a different wire that I like better maybe some of that brown extension core nah I'd rather have it a double wall and I'd rather have a couple of extra wires in it for future use so, I don't know. This green isn't bad. That's pretty good and flexible. A little bit heavier though. I think I'm just gonna stick to this gray stuff that I already pulled out. It's free, I've got it, and uh, it'll work. And it's got three different wires in it. So I'll just be using one for now, but if I ever wanted to run, you know, other lights up my bed I can or switches or whatever you know I can even run um, 
I could run a switch in the cab and run, uh, um, what are those called? <laughs> ah. All right, so got the bed up now and I fed uh, the wire through that upper channel and it fell down into the bottom channel and I left the plug part on it thinking that would give it some weight and help it slide but now I'm thinking it might have uh, made it hang up too much I'm not sure but anyway so I've got it that far got plenty of more slack here but uh and I found this whole fishing pole that I had off to the side somebody sent it to the dump and I, I don't even know why I stuck it to the side uh, it should have just gone to the dump but it's going to come in useful so I guess that's why it didn't go to the dump so I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop my bed back down and I'm going to try to fish from that from the back side and grab that wire and pull it down in. as always the first attempt wasn't quite long enough just got frustrated so we added a little bit on there with some tape hopefully now I can get it out all right YouTube so that's what we're working with we got the flashlight and we're fishing we're fishing this line through here oh I, I wish I had somebody at the other end just to kind of give me a little slack and feed it in better you know? oh I got it it's pulling Oh yeah, come on. Come on, bro. Oh yeah. Dang it. Yeah, there she comes. Oop, flashlight's in the way. But I'm getting it. One handed. This is even using the camera with one hand. And fishing with the other. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, I just need a line slacked up on from the other end. But I do got it to that point. I think that I can feed it out right here and grab it from the bottom. You see that gap there? Feed it out there to where I can actually physically pull it and then I'll re-push it in right there. Oops probably didn't see none of that but you see that gap down here if I push it out of that I can physically pull it a little more and then uh, get me get me some slack down here and then slide it the rest of the way down this all right YouTube so I just fed that up through a hole in my winch plate for right now left a little bit of slack um, I crawled under right here because there's a split in that I was able to pull out a bunch of slack from this end where I'd fed it in so boom 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 in and then I regrouped that slack straightened it out stuck the tip in slid 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 well then it started getting bunched up so now I, I shoved it all into that tube now we're gonna hope when we go back here that uh, it's at least Oh yeah, we're going to be able to get that, guys. Yep, that's an easy one. That's an easy fishing expedition, guys. If you guys have been to prison, you guys understand fishing. Alright. When you've gone 10, 15 cells on down the tier, when you've gone story to story through the, through the toilets, when you've gone pod to pod, talking to girls, oh yeah, you know a thing about uh, fishing. Want to get them notes from them girls, you figure out a way. Anyways, enough of that stuff, guys. So, we got that through. I don't want to pull it too much and uh, lose my uh, slack up there on top. But we do got it. It's through. So now we just gotta, I gotta cut it off at a length that I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna connect it up there to that wire that we found that powers my markers. And then uh, back here, I'm gonna just connect just the marker light one and run marker lights. And so, uh, and I'm thinking I could probably run it right here because this is a marker light thing. 
and then it'll run right up that tube. So later on though, is what I was saying, is uh, I could try hooking up uh, relays, you know, because I do got this uh, this battery up here. So anyways, until next time, believe in yourself. No, you guys put on this earth for a purpose. God made you, made you in His image, made your hands in His image, made you completely capable. He was a creator, you can be a creator. You guys can build things, fix things, create things, do art, do it, just, you guys can do those same things and, and it's, it's amazing the things that we can do with our hands. So, until next time, believe in yourselves, keep building shit. Alright YouTube, so we got the truck warming up right now. Disconnected the charge wires for the battery that runs the winch. Now we're gonna roll the bed back because we've got this wire ran all the way through the bed and just kind of tied here. And it comes through the bed all the way to back here where I'm gonna connect it, but I just want to roll the bed back and forth and see what happens with the wire. And uh, if it's gonna get caught up on anything or whatnot. Well, I didn't see it come out. that's how my wire is now routed up the bed and then across zip tied to both of those uh, little cross metal type dealy bobs and then comes around here I tapped into it right there for my markers well then I continued that wire up and I just ran it through that and uh, tied it off over here at this end and uh, taped it up and everything because in the future I plan to either run some light relays or maybe I was thinking run switches down here to my box and so that I could uh, run my winch and run it through that wire so not sure yet though stay tuned for that hit like hit subscribe but now I got to go to the back of the truck and uh, get that wire spliced in all right YouTube so now we're at the back of the truck got the uh, power cord ran through there it's off of a vacuum actually but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here and uh, get the end put on and then splice it into this wire which runs 
these three tail lights, so I'll have tail lights or marker lights on my bed or power going to them. All right, you two. I gotta connect it right back there. And zip tied it a little bit and ran it up there. So now is when you get to the end of the project and you have to uh, hit the switch and check your work. Always a nervous step. Hopefully, it's gonna work. I gotta find my key though. Oh no, I don't. Not for the headlights, do I? It's unlocked right now. So let's get that. Seeing no power. Seeing it up there. Not seeing it to lows. Uh oh. So, gotta figure out what happened. Alright, YouTube. So, I figured it out. I didn't give, uh, I had it, I, I did it all up there. And then I had it tied to the wheel lift and I didn't give it enough slack so it ended up stretching the wire and breaking it um, as I as I rolled it forward and, and put my bed away. So regrouping, grabbed another cut cord off of uh, something out of my junk pile, got this reconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it connected here and then I'm going to tie, or not tie, but tape that other end that and pull it back forward out the other way and so that I can uh, reconnect that other end and then we'll get it all zip tied up and and yeah oops but I'm persevering and I'm getting through it just like you guys can so believe in yourselves till next time keep building shit all right so I got that end connected and zip tied got this thing tied or taped to that so now I'm going to go ahead and roll the bed back a little bit, tilt it up, and pull that through so that I can reconnect. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that uh, excess zip tie off while I'm back here. Yeah, let's get it. Hard to see in uh, using the camera is uh, your eyes. So there we go. All right. Could have been in the house, chilling, relaxing by now, but I messed up, so I'm pulling this back through. You can see where I, where we pinched it, and yeah, oops. So we'll pull this on through. Come on, don't get hung up. Let's go back here. Hopefully we can get this to go through easily. We don't need it getting hung up. Now where are we at? Okay. Got that one. This one. go all right YouTube so I'm gonna let you guys go for a second and figure out how to uh, get this unstuck all right YouTube so after multiple tries I finally got it um, one of my connections up here wasn't quite connected right and uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff zip tied up get this uh, wire hanging down tied up so that I can use it in the future like I said for my winch or for a, another light relay or something but uh alrighty so I'm gonna get those tied up and then we'll give the bed a shot see if it's gonna work alright YouTube so let's give this another go got it all connected up there 
bed's letting down some pressure. I need a new seal. But uh, I left a little bit of slack there. And so if I hear it, you know, catch or something, at least it's going to pull that. And I'll be able to stop and not mess up my, my wires. But I think I left a little bit of slack in the back this time and stuff. It should be should be all right but we'll see get the tools set out of the way and then we'll get the truck fired up and we'll run the bed back and forth and see what happens all right YouTube so I ran the bed in and out a couple times and uh, no hang-ups no hiccups got marker lights on both sides but I did notice something well I got one one bad there that I got to replace. I'm trying to get rid of get ready for a DOT inspection. I'm trying to get a transporter license. So I'm trying to uh, get the truck ready. But I noticed this. Notice that's the yellow one. That's the red one. Yeah, they're in all the wrong ends. These lights have never worked since I bought this truck about six months ago or so. So I'm going to get those switched around. But anyways, until next time guys, believe in yourselves, know that you guys can take on projects like this too. You don't just gotta open up your wallet and take your truck to a shop. You guys can you guys can get busy, man. You, you guys can pull out an electric tester. You guys can chase down wires. You guys can figure it out, man. You know, just believe in yourselves. Know that God put you on this earth for a purpose. I'm not saying that your purpose is working on trucks. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm getting at that he made you in his image and that you're capable, that you're worthwhile people, that you're good people, that you're you know, you, you just gotta make the right choices. You gotta, you gotta do positive things. You gotta stay, stay busy. You know. So, till next time, keep building shit.